Hi everyone, Scott Barry here. The Jupiter X editor is a standalone graphical editor and librarian for the Jupiter X and Jupiter XM, and is available for Windows and Mac OS. The Jupiter X XM editor can be downloaded for free from Rolling Cloud using the Rolling Cloud Manager. If you do not have a Rolling Cloud account, you can create one at rollingcloud.com. There are several different plans available, but you only need a free account to download the Jupyter X editor. Before we begin, the Jupyter X or Jupyter XM will need to be updated to the latest firmware to work with the Jupyter editor. The Jupyter driver also needs to be installed in your computer, and these can be found on roland.com under the product pages for the Jupyter X or Jupyter XM in the download section. Open your Roland Cloud Manager. Go to your library and search for Jupyter X. You'll see the editor. Download and install the Jupyter editor. Once the download install is complete, we can launch the editor. You'll need to make sure that the USB cable is connected to the Jupyter X and to the computer when launching the editor. The editor has three main screens, the scene builder, librarian, and editor. The side menu shows all scenes, tones, drum kits for presets and user. The upper menu allows you to back up and restore directly to and from the computer. The scene builder allows you to see everything that is in your scene at one time. You can see what tones and rhythm kits are in the scene. The tones are also color coded to the model bank that they are from. Jupiter 8 is orange, Juno 106 is red, JX8P light blue, and so on. You can make changes to key ranges for splits, velocity settings, high ARP functions per part, and effect sets. Change the scenes from the Jupiter or the editor. The Jupiter and editor update in real time. So depending on what you're doing, it might be easier to use one or the other for your workflow. Change scenes from the sidebar. You can also change any tone or rhythm part from the side menu as well. Select the editor tab to further edit your scene. You will need to write the scene into temporary memory before you can edit. The editor section will change depending on if you're editing a scene or a tone. In this example, we're using the editor tab to edit our scene per part. These are the same parameters that are located inside the menu screens of the Jupyter. If we go into the menu screen of the Jupyter X, you can see that the Jupyter updates when edits are made in the editor. Note the Modify section. The Modify section can be used to apply offsets to the tones without the need to write or save the tone separately. These are the most common parameters when adjusting tones. For simple edits, consider using the Modify section instead of editing the tone itself. In the Librarian, you can swap scenes, insert scenes, and organize your scenes for a performance from this screen. You can also organize, swap, and insert tones in the lower section of the page. Save scenes and tones individually or selections without performing a full backup. Editing Tones when editing a tone, you'll need to write the tone into temporary memory first. In the editor screen, the tone will have a different interface according to the model bank and tone it comes from. Jupiter 8, Juno 106, JX8P, SH101, XV5080, RD Piano, JD800 if installed, and Zencore. Once done editing your scene or tone, you can write them into the editor and the Jupyter X or Jupyter XM will update at the same time. Deeper editing of scenes and tones couldn't be easier when using the Jupyter X XM editor. Download the Jupyter X editor for free today through Rolling Cloud Manager, the software interface for Rolling Cloud content. Rolling Cloud is also the home of model expansions, sound packs, Wave expansions and other premium content for taking the Jupiter X and Jupiter XM to the next level. I'm Scott Berry, and thank you for watching.